Welcome back to The Breakfast here on Plus TV Africa. We're now going to be talking about the NIMC and, of course, a uh, national identity number. There is a new application that Nigerians need to hear about. The National Identity Management Commission has launched a new mobile web service application to make it easier for Nigerians to use their national identity number. The commission uh, is, or has also launched an improved national identity number slip ahead of the April 9th deadline for the linkage of SIM cards with national identity numbers. We're discussing this uh, this morning with the public affairs analyst, Mohamed Abdullahi. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Abdullahi. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Okay. Um, of course, uh, the chaos, you know, with the whole registration for NIN, uh, the crowds that gathered at NIMC uh, offices across the country, some of that has you know, been cut down. We've also recorded increase in um, a number of people who have been registered and linked with their uh, SIM cards. Um, so tell us what, you know, difference this application uh, 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 makes. Uh, of what use is it really from the NIMC and what change will it bring? Thank you. Good morning once again. Um, it's a step in the right direction from uh, the NIMC. Uh, but uh, let us not uh, forget uh, one thing. This new application is not for new registration, please. It's not uh, meant for new registrants. I mean, people who are trying to register for the first time to get their NIN. It's actually for existing NIN holders to confirm and authenticate their information and be able to have their information I mean, their name on the go, wherever they are. Uh, you may recall that uh, due to the rush, since the declaration that um, SIM cards will be blocked here and there if people refuses to, refuse to register for NIN, uh, there has been a whole lot of rush. And with that, the, the, the NIMC has been kind of um, uh, constrained in terms of providing not even the original cards, to registrants, but even the slip itself. So what people have been given in recent times is just the need, the number only. When you register and you are successful, you are just issued it with the number, probably after two weeks. So with this new web portal, you can actually log in and then get to see your information and download your information, but at a token cost, according to the NIMC. So like I mentioned, earlier it's a welcome development but we still have a long way to go i don't know why at this moment in time and at this digital age we still can't develop an app that will make people sit down in the comfort of their homes to register as a fresh uh, um to, to register to have fresh registration so but like i mentioned this is a this is a welcome development and wherever you are you can actually print and view your conf your, your 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 details your nmc de details now on the go Okay, well, so it doesn't really add to the number of people who have registered or reduce the number of, uh, you know, people who are still waiting in line. It really only just assists those who are on the go and want to assess their information uh, from the NIMC. Um, you also spoke about a small token. You know, share a little bit about that. How much of a problem would that be uh, for Nigerians? Yeah, it does. Like you mentioned, it doesn't really add the, or reduce the number of people that are actually waiting at the moment to, to be registered. It doesn't at all. Uh, uh, to, to, be, to, to be factual, I don't, uh, it was not specified how much. Probably when you try to log in and then do the download, you might get to know the cost. But the NIMC did not um, specify in their press release and in their information. So I don't know what they meant by a token, but I'm just using the exact word used by the government agency. So depending on how much it is, if it's not something that is much, I think Nigerians uh, would, 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 you know, be able to, um, to, to, to go ahead with it. Yeah, but depending on how much it is, like I mentioned, so uh, it depends. Okay, so we know that so when this whole issue began with the NIN-SIM linkage and registration, there was a lot of panic. 
And in fact, uh, one of my lines, in my own opinion, I had actually tried to link it, but I don't know how that happened. They sent me a text that that SIM has been blocked. Lots of people that I've spoken to had that experience. And we began to see statistics as to the, you know, thousands and millions of Nigerians whose SIM cards have been blocked because of one glitch in the process of linking SIM and name. Do we, do we know at, the, at this moment, you know, do we have any information if this NIN SIM linkage would also work for SIMs that have been blocked because, you know, this, this SIM, SIM NIN linkage didn't work the first time? Uh, it is very possible. Uh, I can't confirm authentically, but it is very possible because um, I've gone through the new web portal. It's, uh, it's a little bit complicated, I must, I must confess. Uh, if you are not a little bit tech savvy, uh, it is a little bit complicated, but it's possible to rectify the problem you just mentioned. But again, I must confess that there has been slow um, um, process of confirmation, even by the NIMSI itself. Because for instance, I myself, I, I have registered for NIN for quite some time, and I have forwarded my details to my, um, to my telecom subscriber. Um, to my telecom network, sorry. And it's more than two months now, and they are yet to confirm whether my name is authentic or not. So I'm still, even, even while I have registered, I have sent my details to, the, to my telecom network. They are yet to confirm to me. Every time I keep calling them and they keep telling me, yeah, they've sent it to um, the relevant agency, but they are yet to get confirmation. So hopefully with this new web portal, that will speed up the confirmation process. So you just mentioned something I was going to ask you about, uh, you know, this issue about the mobile app. You know, we've been talking about, you know, it's great for us to have an online system where everybody from the comfort of their homes can register, you know, register for your name, link it yourself. You don't have to go queue. So they've done something that is commendable. But the difficulty now is the accessibility of the website. For people who, let's say for, uh, you know, the elderly people who are not so tech savvy, would this, you know, the complexity of the website and its navigation not even be an impediment, you know, to what they're trying to achieve? And should they be able to simplify this so everyone can be carried along? You're absolutely right. Um, I think, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the website is still, for me, a little bit difficult to navigate, to, 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 to be factual. Um, so, and with our kind of population where we still have a whole lot of, um, a whole large majority of the population still, um, you know, still not tech savvy. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's important we have something uh, that is quite, quite simple. For instance, apologies to digress. What uh, the, the agency responsible for the vaccination is doing, the, 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 the registration for the vaccination is quite, quite simpler. It's very simple. You just have like two, three, four steps and you are done. I think that kind of uh, simple process, that kind of simple steps should, is what uh, the NIMC should, should be looking towards in trying to uh, uh, introduce an app that will cater for new registration going forward. There is, um, you know, still a large number of Nigerians who don't have cell phone lines or bank accounts. Um, what, you know, would you say the, is the uh, NIMC's, um, you know, process or plans for these people? How do we get all of these people registered on the national database, if that's what we're trying to build here? Uh, because we keep using figures from, you know, people who have bank accounts and people who have SIM cards and, and the likes. But there's a large number of Nigerians who well, are fishermen who don't care about these things. Um, so what's the plan to get all of those people registered? And, you know, is there going to be any way that they can be convinced, you know, to get on board, you know, the national database? I actually don't speak for the NIMC, but I think I would suggest that um, we have a kind of foot soldiers, just like we have during the census, who go into villages, who go to the remote areas, and then you know, get these people that you just mentioned in. It's, 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 it's quite important that we make everyone, um, that, we, that we are able to access and bring every Nigerian into the database that we are trying to build. It's very, very important. Yeah, no, not, not everyone has telephone numbers or even uh, bank account numbers that um, the NIMC is trying to 
leverage upon at the moment. So it's also important that we ha uh, while the agency is trying to use technology, the modern day technology to get hold of more Nigerians, it is also important to not discard our crude method. I mean, the manual method of introducing food soldiers, go into the villages, go into our creeks, go into our uh, rural areas, you know, to capture Nigerians who are not uh, yet uh, part of this uh, technology revolution. Yeah. And uh, are, are these signs, uh, the things that are currently happening with, you know, the, the new software, the new application, so you can, you know, assess your NIN uh, uh, details, are these signs, if you also have been following, you know, Jam also stated that, you know, those without name registration may not be able to apply or sit for, you know, the Jam examinations that are coming up. Um, so are these all signs that the NIN registration and, of course, NIN linkage to your SIMs might be um, very, very important requirements to get into certain um, uh, para state house, you know, in the country very soon or to get, you know, to use certain uh, details across Nigeria very soon? Um, yeah, certainly it is a welcome development because it's, it's actually long overdue. Uh, it's long overdue that we have a, we must, Nigerians should have a national database that at a click of a button can pop up the details, the relevant information of every, anyone we are looking for. Um, uh, let me also state that this new web portal, like what NIMSI is saying, will, will avail whether the Nigerian police force, the FRSC, and all other relevant agencies, the opportunity to, at a click, you know, get to know relevant information about everyone, which is a welcome development. So I think it's a very good sign. It's long overdue, and it is time that we stick to it, and it is time that we, 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 we get very, very serious with it. Don't just go um, at the halfway like we used to do as a country and then abandon it. It is high time that we make sure this works. And how to make it work is to make sure that everyone, every Nigerian is captured in the database. It, is it also important that we start, you know, taking seriously the calls for an, a new national census uh, so we can know exactly what figures we truly are dealing with here in Nigeria? Because we've been using estimates since the last census, um, you know, more than a decade ago. Uh, so is it important that we start to get, you know, into those conversations and plan towards a new census um, in Nigeria? Definitely. Um, what the law says is that every 10 years, we're supposed to have census, yes. but we've not had that for quite more than 10 years now. So uh, it's long overdue. We have a whole lot of estimate about Nigeria, the population of our country being over 200 million, 195 million, you know, just here says um, unverifiable data. Uh, so I think it's long overdue. Uh, we need a census to plan. There's a whole, of, a whole lot of things that is tied to the population. Uh, census. So uh, a very serious country, if we are trying to get into that sphere, we actually need a census and it is long overdue that uh, we, we do this quickly. Yes. Mabda, Abdullahi, I, I want you to share your views on, um, if, if you have been following the conversations with regards to NIN registration and uh, um, linkage to SIMS, I'm not sure if you feel it's the same reaction in northern Nigeria and across the whole country. Um, do you see the same um, energy and the same, uh, you know, push to get registered in places like Katsina and in Damaturu and in, and in Borono State and some of all those places? Is, is it all the same thing? And do we have a, an issue with, you know, those parts of Nigeria? where, of course, you know, there have been, you know, talks that there's a lot of foreigners who come in through the borders who exist in those regions that aren't necessarily Nigerians. Um, do you have, you know, those concerns? Surely, um, uh, there are concerns. Uh, but again, we must take into cognizance that um, population plays um, a vital role here of these discussions. Uh, for instance, what might take you two days or even a week to do in Lagos, in a place like Lagos, for instance, might take you less than three, four hours to do in places like even Mark Cody and, and uh, Katsina and so on, like that, that you mentioned, because of the population density. So it's very important we take note of this. But aside that also, I think it is also important uh, that we have verifiable means of identification 
that will make sure foreigners do not take advantage of this process to register as Nigerians. It's very, very vital. Uh, that will leave to the relevant authorities, whether the Nigerian immigration, the Nigerian custom, and the NIMSI themselves, they must ensure that the ID cards that a, regist a registrant is, you know, is, is putting forward is verifiable, is authentic, is Nigerian, and not any foreign connected. This is very important, or else we, it, 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 it will just be uh, that, we, you know, at the end of the exercise, it will be in shambles because we, we, we will have registered a whole lot of foreigners as Nigerians. So it's very important that the relevant authorities in charge make sure that the, 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 the means of identification are authentic and Nigerian. Yeah, but, but why I'm asking this is because I'm, I don't remember if you if you s followed most of the news reports uh, during the you know little chaotic period where people were trying to get registered. I don't remember seeing a lot of them from those regions. Um, and so, is is it you know? I, do you agree with that? You know, and is it because maybe there's not that much interest in those parts of the country to get registered and to get on board with the NIMC's regulations? Um, um, at a time like this? I, I don't want to think so. I, I don't think so. I just gave you an analogy that, uh, for instance, um, personally, I, I was trying to renew my international passport, and they told me at the Koi, whatsoever, here in Lagos, it would take me another one month. I traveled to Makodi, and it took me less than three hours to renew it. Yeah. I had to take the pain to travel to Makodi. But like I said, because of the population density, sometimes what takes you five hours in Lagos or 10 hours in Abuja, you understand, takes you less than 30 minutes, one hour, even in places like uh, Ibadan, yeah, you understand? So uh, I don't want to see, because like what JAMP is saying, if you don't have the need, you can't even register for JAMP. Yes. So that would definitely push a whole lot of people whether you want, whether you want it or not, whether you are interested or not, to go after it. And again, the policy that if you don't have your name, your line, your SIM card will be blocked is another good one that will definitely elicit interest from whosoever, wherever in Nigeria to go out and register. All right, Mohammed Abdullahi, public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for coming on the breakfast this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, do have a great Pleasure. day. And yes, that's the much we're going to take on the breakfast this morning, this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning, uh, 30th of March 2021. We hope you enjoyed every segment of the show this morning. If you missed out on anything, we're at Plus TV Africa on all social media platforms. And don't forget to, you know, catch up with us, subscribe. Our YouTube channel is at Plus TV Africa. And I am Annetta Felix. And uh, just to quickly also remind everyone, the um, like our guest uh, earlier said, Mr. Lubo Wale, um, ignorance is really no excuse for you to buy fake medication. Um, it's safer for you to walk into a NAVDAC registered and uh, um, uh, um, you know pharmacy, get yourself the proper medication that you need. Um, it's not necessarily you know always the safer option to buy the cheaper one either. Um, but we hope that you know with with um, better. Uh, laws and with you know a more improved NAVDAC and with better assistance from the federal government, uh, they will be able to, you know, rid the country of some of these um, fake drug merchants across the country. I am Osaogie Ogmawa. Thank you very much for joining us, and see you tomorrow.